cut off her head, cut off her hand, cut off every part of her body. Oh my god, that is like crazy, guys. She really is crazy. Hi darling, it's your girl Yvonne and I'm back with another video. To my old subscribers, welcome back and if you're just joining us, welcome to the family. Today I'll be doing a story time with you guys. I'll be just telling you guys how I almost, hmm, I'll be just telling you guys how I almost dated a serial killer. <laughs> You don't know. You don't know why it's going on. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even joking and this is real. Anyways, yeah, if you know you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe right now because by doing that, you'll be helping me out, you'll be encouraging me and you will not be missing any of the bangers. I'll be dropping back to back for the rest of the year and yes to come because i'm not going anywhere so yeah just please make sure you subscribe hit the subscribe button you know like the video and don't go anywhere because this just is very hot so guys this happened when i was in uni in my third year my close friend at the time i mean he's still my close friend now you know came to me and he's like someone wants to meet you and i'm like somebody wants to meet me from where and so he was like oh the last time i posted your picture he asked for your number he requested for your number and by the way that's not even the first time he's asking of you he keeps he keeps hitting me up anytime i post your picture uh he's this he's that and he actually has money he's actually rich you know he's doing really well i'm like i asked you a simple question i said how so he was like that the last time he posted my picture on his um, social media that the guy hit him up and was asking about me asking for my number and I'm like I hope you didn't give him my phone number he's like no I didn't I'm like good and then he's like he's actually cool you know he's a cool person this is not the first time he's asking for your details this is not the first time he's saying he likes you I'm like so what this was my business did I tell you I'm looking to be hooked up with anybody or did I thought I was looking for a boyfriend or something he's like no but that's not what I said now nah. you know he just likes you this is a nice person he's a Christian he's always he always has um bible passages as his um on his posts oh he's this he's that I'm like I didn't ask you any of that I don't know this person and I'm not ready to meet anybody and do you know that my friend kept pestering and pestering and pestering me i was like what is it now is it by force he said please that he already promised him that the guy has not allowed him rest since he promised him you know that he was going to introduce me formally to him and i'm like are you kidding why are you putting me in a tight corner i was like please now just do this for me i know you're not ready you don't want to meet anybody but i'm like I mean, I, it's not like I wasn't in a relationship here, so that's not the reason I didn't want to meet him. I'm just not somebody who, you know, I don't just meet every Tom, Dick and Harry that shows interest in me. Like, no, you know, so I was just so, I don't know. Do I say I was torn? Because, like, I didn't want my friend to feel really bad because he was really pleading with me, you know. But at the same time, I didn't want to meet this person i mean he showed me the picture of this person I, I i wasn't interested he wasn't ugly but like i just didn't care you know to meet him you know but i ended up saying okay fine you know you can give him my phone number and then he was like thank you thank you thank you so much because that's what he wanted like he wanted me to give him you know my phone number and i got a call from this fellow he hit me up he sounded okay he sounded you know he doesn't really he's not somebody who speaks much you know he's a man of few words i guess so he, he didn't really talk much and i don't talk much either so most times they're just quiet because i mean i don't know you so what am i telling you what do you want me to do to you i don't get it you know but uh you know somehow we just started 
speaking not often but you know we started talking and i mean at first he kind of made i, I felt he was all right but not in that way I, like i felt it was all right to be um friends with him you know like i felt he was okay he wasn't he didn't seem like a bad person and all of that you know but i've noticed that on his post today he's posting you know a picture of himself in a g-wagon you know a benz tomorrow he's posting another picture in a lexus next tomorrow he's posting another one in you know a lambo and like please um what do you do again it's like oh I'm, I'm an engineer i'm a computer engineer i'm like yeah um you know it's not like i never looked down on him or anything i mean there was no reason to look down on him but my intuition just kept telling me something is not right this guy like something no no like mm -mm. i was just unsettled anytime we spoke every time we spoke there was something in me that was like no it was literally shaking its head and i'm like you know i just had an off feeling and i actually made this known to my friend like the one that introduced him to me and i'm like you know see i don't think this person is genuine for some reason and he's like why do you say so i'm like i don't know but i don't think he's genuine you keep telling me you know i mean he keeps posting pictures you know with this and that and you also don't just keep quiet you don't sh you don't you keep talking you don't you don't keep quiet about the things he has you keep telling me and i don't know why you're telling me because i'm not moved by things like this like come on like it's not like i haven't seen these things before you know so it's not going to move me you know so it's like i i don't know i just felt some type of way about this person but you know i'm like fine let's just keep talking you know and today he'll make a post and after he posts a picture of like one of his luxury items that he owns he'll post a bible passage he's like oh the lord is with me you know that kind of thing and like i said he really doesn't talk much even when he posts pictures of himself he's just like smiling or videos he's just like smiling he doesn't really say anything you know so you know we just kept talking and then in a couple of weeks you know he was asking me out already and i'm like no no please i'm not really you know i don't want that yet let's get to know each other that's why i kept telling him let's get to know each other he hadn't even seen me yet and he was asking me out already by the way i was in school so you know i wasn't i didn't have that time or freedom to you know move around or you know just and even if i did i didn't think i was actually even going to want to see him or anything but yeah you know he ended up coming over to school to my school to visit and um my friend who's always speaking with him you know came to tell me oh he's actually bringing his g-wagon that's the latest g-wagon he claimed to have you know so my friend said he was coming with the car and i didn't really you know say much i was just like oh okay that's that's his business i mean that's okay but in my mind i'm like okay now we'll see we'll see because something in me was telling me mm -mm, there's something you know up with this guy there's something up and i don't know what it is but there's just something up you know and you know this day we waited and finally he came he arrived you know and my friend called me i actually got a missed call from him because i was busy you know and then i got a missed call from him and i got a missed call from my friend you know i called my friend and my friend's like oh i'm with him he's actually around now you know and i'm like okay and i came you know they said he said they were at the car park so i came over to the car park obviously i was looking for the bends because that was what he claimed he was bringing i was looking up i was looking everywhere i didn't see any bends then finally i turned you know to one direction and then i saw the bends in a corner it was parked in a corner and then i went over to the g-wagon and lo and behold it was empty there was nobody there and i was standing there and then i called i called my friend he didn't answer so i called the guy you know and i'm like oh where are you guys and he's like oh we're at the car park and then i'm like i cannot see you like i'm standing there and then he's like no i'm worried you know and he gave the phone over to my friend 
my friend was like, where are you? And I'm, I told him where I was. He's like, no, we're at the other end. And I'm like, oh, okay. You know, but I didn't see the car there. And then he's like, no, just come, keep coming. You know, and then I was going and I finally saw them. And then when I got there, there was no g wagon. They were in this. I'm sorry. I'm not one to, I don't, you know, look down on anybody. I really don't look down on anybody, but, you know, I'm talking based on what I expected to see and what I ended up seeing. So, yeah, it was this really old Lexus. Um, but I didn't mind anyway. I was just wondering why they were making a whole lot of noise about a Benz and they ended up bringing this. I mean, things like that don't impress me. But this guy, you know, saw me and he's like, Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can I get a hug? You know, and I actually gave him a hug. And he's like, um, sorry about my car. We didn't even have a conversation about a car. So, you know, this was number one red flag. Like, why are you telling me? I didn't ask you. He's like, oh, sorry about my car. Like, I the terrain, my friend told me because he came with his friend. And he was like, oh, his friend told him that the terrain to my, you know, my school was not was quite rough and he didn't want to hurt his g wagon and in my mind i'm like i mean that car is a rugged car i mean i feel you should be using that one instead of this this is like low and that one should be high but yeah i didn't say anything i'm like okay you know according to him he didn't want to use it probably because he feels it's more expensive so he's probably you know treating it like a baby i'm like okay let me just take that you know and he was like you know explaining and then i'm like see it's okay it's fine i mean at least you got here and you got here safe so that's what matters and it's like oh nice to meet you you know and we spoke my friend was hanging out with his friend and we're speaking you know just catching up basically and um he was like oh hold on by the way i got stuff for you and i'm like okay and he brought these provisions and you know he brought these um he just basically brought provisions. He brought some milk, some, um, you know, chocolate, some... He brought a couple of things and I'm like, okay. I didn't ask you for that though. And he's like, yeah, 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 sure. I know, but I just, you know, wanted to bring something for you. And I'm like, thank you. I mean, I accepted it. I didn't ask him, duh. <laughs> but I accepted it. And um, everything was sealed, of course. I made sure to check, you know, and I accepted, accepted it. And then we kept speaking. And, um, you know, after a while, it was getting, it, it began to get dark. So I told him I had stuff to do. I had to, you know, study and all of that. And um, he was like, oh, yeah. And, you know, he will also get going because it's quite late. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's okay. So he left and um you know i we kept talking on phone and all of that and then you know the day he told me he said he was going to come another day i didn't invite him you know but he was like you say we should get to work you know you, you say you'd like us to get to know each other first before you know you we get into a relationship so you know i'll be willing to you know come occasionally to visit you in school i'm like that's, that's okay that's okay that's fine by me you know and so, you know, this day, I think it was, it was February and it was um, St. Valentine's Day. I mean, I wasn't dating anybody. I wasn't in a relationship. I wasn't going out with anybody. But he's like, oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get you some gifts and all of that. And of course I was flattered. You know, I didn't ask him for anything, but, you know, it was exciting. I like gifts. So <laughs> he said, oh, I'll be bringing my cold one other car. I don't know. I think he said his BMW. I can't remember, but yeah, you know, he said he was coming with another car. I just felt it was silly. It was stupid. I mean, if you have all of that, you don't need to make noise, okay? Like, you don't need to make noise. Your money will speak for you now. Don't you get it? You know, but then he was like, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming with my B. Um, I'll be bringing my BMW and everything. I'm like, okay. You know, and he said he was going to come give me gifts and all of that. So that day I was excited expecting him and he actually didn't come until like very late i kept calling you know because i have stuff to do i mean 
the fact that you, someone's coming to see me doesn't mean I'm in school, you know, I have to study, I have work to do and all of that. So I, I just felt, you know, I wanted to concentrate and not have to think about who's coming to see me and who's not coming to see me. You know, so I kept calling, like, what's going on? Where are you? You know, I have stuff to do. But finally, he arrived. He arrived, like, I think it was almost 6 p.m. when he got there, you know, and he's like, sorry, sorry, there was traffic, you know. He came with the same car he came with the last time. And I didn't even care about that, but I'm just telling you guys, there was no BMW. He came and um, he got me, I can still remember, like, it was a lot, actually. He got me. Like he got me cards, he got me cakes, he got me drinks, he got me some wine. By the way, I'm not even much of a drinker, so I didn't take it for some reason. I mean, I could have given my friends, but I, I didn't take it, you know. But I took the, I, I know I took, you know, um, the other stuff, but I didn't take the drinks. I think it was like two bottles of champagne. And then he was like, okay, do we share one? Like, do we have one? I'm like, no, no, I don't want to drink, you know. So, you know, we're just talking and jesting and yapping away. And um, the cake was not open. So the cake was covered in like a pack. So when I decided to open it, this young man had the words, will you marry me or something? I don't know, some proposal type statements on the cake and I'm like obviously I knew he wasn't proposing but like I just felt it was just silly you know I asked him I'm like why <laughs> this is so weird why do you have will you marry me on this and then he's like that like he told the person that he wanted um you know something for his girl and that was what they made but like men looking at the cake you know, I mean, the cake looked really good. I'm not going to lie, but I think it was a store-bought cake. He didn't tell any baker to do anything. He never did. Trust me, guys. I took these things from him. You know, we bade each other farewell. He left, you know, and then I got back to my room and I actually shared the cake to my friends. I didn't even taste it. I don't know, anytime I'm, I feel some type of way, my spirit doesn't go with something. I just don't want to be a part of it, you know. I know I was excited before because, I mean, you know, he was saying Valentine's Day and he brought a lot, you know, but for some reason I just, I was like, mm -mm, I don't, I don't want to taste this cake, you know, not because of anything. I wasn't thinking about anything evil, but I just didn't feel like, you know, I wanted the cake. And so I shared it out to my friends and that was it basically, you know, I, I kept speaking to him and um, the more we spoke, the more I felt so sore that I didn't want to speak to him anymore. Like for some reason, it was just off. Like every time he'll tell me, first off, he doesn't sleep when others should be sleeping. He'll call me during the day when others should be, you know, working or doing something reasonable. And he's like, oh, I'm going to sleep. I was up all night. And then I'm like, you're up doing what? And he's like, oh, I was up working. Instead of giving me some, you know, BS about how um, his Wi-Fi works better at night. Okay. At some point, I started thinking, like, is this boy a Yahoo boy? If he's a Yahoo boy, you should just let me know now. I mean, I don't support stuff like that. I don't support fraud of any I was just wondering, like, be honest with me. I mean, if I don't like it, I don't like it, but just be honest, you know. I started thinking, and then I actually made this known to my friend, you know. I, I made this known to my friend. I'm like, see, I think this boy introduced me to, I think he's a Yahoo boy. By the way, for people who don't know the meaning of Yahoo, when you say someone's a Yahoo boy, um, in Nigeria, internet fraud basically is called Yahoo. So, um, I, I was just thinking like this person should be a Yahoo boy, you know, and I told my friends and my friend kept trying to convince himself that, you know, he was okay because, you know, he was a Christian and he was God fearing and this and that. But, you know, I just took all of that with a pinch of salt, to be honest. I wasn't, I just knew, you know, there was something off about him and I knew he just wasn't who he said he was. And, um, like I said, the more we 
spoke, the more I was so sure in my mind, in my heart of hearts, that I shouldn't be talking to this boy. He will call me and say, I don't want to talk to you. I will leave my phone. My phone will ring. In fact, you know when people say, you will call me and I'll be dancing to your ringtone. That's what I was doing. Obviously, I wasn't dancing, but like, you know, I'd literally sit there and the phone would ring. And then he'll call my friend and then my friend would be like, you know, my friend would call me. I'm like, what, what, what's it? Now, why are you not talking to this person? You know, he's going crazy. He's this, he's that, you know. What's my own? I mean, my mind already said no. I already made up my mind. And my no means no. So, no. But yeah, when I eventually, you know, answered his call, I told him I wasn't really comfortable. And, you know, I, I didn't want to continue speaking with him. You know, and then he started pleading. And he's like, what did I do? You know, what did I do? Is it because I said I was going to um, bring money and I didn't bring it? I'm like, are you kidding? Do you think I'm one of those girls? So I look hungry to you. You know, I actually asked him that. And he's like, no, 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 I know. But maybe you're thinking I'm just trying to entice you or something. And I'm like, no, that's not what I'm thinking. I never thought that. I mean, why would you think I'm thinking that? He's like, no, I'm just saying. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, no, I just don't really feel comfortable. You know, and I told him not to call me again, but he kept calling and then I just stopped speaking to him, guys. I stopped speaking to him and um, my friend kept speaking to him, obviously, because I mean, there were friends before me. And guys, there's something I didn't even tell you. You wouldn't believe that the first day I met him was the first day my friend met him. They met online apparently. They were friends on phone, like they used to speak on phone, sorry, you know, before he decided to come to school to visit me and, you know, my friends at the same time so you know it's not like my friend met him one-on-one -on -one before me so you know they kept talking and you know my friend every time my friend will you know t try to change my mind about you know him but my mind was already made up you know and then i think my friend got tired you know he also got tired and you know that was it we didn't really speak again for like a year we didn't speak um I mean, we didn't speak at all, to be honest. And um, for like a year, I didn't speak with my friend about him. My friend didn't bring him up. I didn't bring him up. You know, we'll talk about other stuff, but not him. But then this day we were talking and then my friend was asking whether the guy had called me. And I'm like, I blocked him. No, he can't, he can't reach me. Why, why do you ask? And he's like, oh, okay. Like they haven't really been speaking and all of that. That was it. That was it until i think two months after this time i was back home i wasn't in school i was in my house and um i got a call from my friend and i answered and do you know the first thing he told me he's like yvonne guess what and i'm like what so i thought he was going to you know say something to me i'm like you started again okay what oh yeah what and he's like Okay, so I'm going to call this guy in question. I'm going to name him George. I'm going to call him George. So he's like, George has been arrested. I don't know why I chose that name, George, but yeah. George, <laughs> it's like, George has been arrested. And then I'm like, what George? And he's like, George now, you know? And then I'm like, okay, arrested for what? For fraud? For Yahoo? And then he's like, no, he was arrested and jailed for murder. He killed somebody. And I'm like, like, I was actually surprised because I mean, when he said he was arrested, that didn't really surprise me because like I said, I already had a feeling that he wasn't doing something legit. You know, I knew he was like, you know, he wasn't doing something right, you know, but, when he said murder, I'm like, my jaws literally dropped because, guys. And then my friend was like, I sent you something. I sent you something on your WhatsApp. And he sent me this link. It was a YouTube link. And guess what? I saw this with my eyes. I saw, obviously, with my eyes. I, 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 was I supposed to see with my mouth? <laughs> anyway, guys, don't mind me. I saw this guy. I saw George. George, I saw him literally 
on the floor in chains being held by the police like guys let me tell you guys the story he met this lady on the internet apparently i think he has a thing for meeting people on the internet i mean anyway he met this lady on the internet a married lady apparently with three kids who was divorced you know and they got talking apparently they've been speaking for like two years or something a little over a year you know and they were talking and i think they started dating online you know and then he invited her over apparently she came from another state to lagos where you know he lived or he lives i don't know he came she came all the way from edo state which is really far you know from lagos state also in nigeria anyway she left edo state and came all the way to lagos state to visit this guy and they met you know they hung out it was all these things happened the same day she arrived though so she came to lagos you know they met up i think they decided to meet at a hotel you know so she came to the hotel and they spoke you know i think apparently they I, well this is basically his story now because the woman died so um yeah we don't know the truth but this is what he said so he said that she came and they agreed to meet at a hotel and you know she got to the hotel and then i think he gave her a drink apparently they you know they they had some form of intercourse they had intercourse they had sex i think after that he made her he you know decided to give her something to drink apparently he drugged it he put something in the drink and when she had it she slept off and while she was asleep he decided to go ahead and i don't know if she was asleep or she died i don't know which one but while she was unconscious because she she took the drink and then she just just you know went off like she just went unconscious she didn't know where she was so i think while she was in that state he decided to start dismembering her he cut her body he cut off her head cut off her hand cut off every part of her body oh my god that is like crazy guys he really is crazy it's crazy um he probably had his tools with him because you know he didn't want to make a mess in the hotel room so i think he had some tarp and you know all of that so to prevent you know have blood from getting everywhere so he did all of that and that that's like painful that's like so sad that is like that's crazy that's crazy guys that's really crazy i was shocked you know when i was watching that i was shocked to the marrow so i was speaking to a killer i was speaking to somebody who could do this <laughs> and guys that's the truth that some people who claim to be religious but they're actually devils and demons in disguise that's like crazy guys that is crazy do you know he killed this woman just to take the few the money she had and to take her car it was actually her car that was used to track him down and then in my mind i'm like oh my god so that means all those cars he's been taking pictures with only god knows how he got them he was probably killing them and then taking their cars i don't know but like i'm just saying i mean when he was in the while he was being interrogated he claimed that was the first time he you know was killing somebody but who knows i mean he's just saying that because he was caught you know so if he wasn't caught this time and he did it again he'll probably tell them that was his first time you know so like i was like oh my god it could have been anybody guys i don't know if he even really liked me i mean what if that was his plan god forbid like with me you see that's why it's good to listen to your intuition guys listen to your intuition i mean he could have killed me it could have been me 
But I just thank God for good home training. As in, I just thank God that he gave me the grace to remember the family I come from. But I don't know if that has anything to do with my, <laughs> my decision not to speak to him because, I mean, but I thank God, you know, that I listened to my intuition and, you know, I said no. I didn't even go to see him because at some point he actually invited me over, but I said no. I didn't want to leave school. I mean, I could have left if I wanted, but I didn't. So I thank God for that. Like that, that was, that, that was, that's like wild. Like even till today, anytime I think about it, it still amazes me. And I just thank God, you know, that I never hung out with him like outside my school. And even the few times I went to, you know, speak with him, my friend was there. You know and it was like in a public place like i said and you know it's like it's like just crazy and when you see this guy he actually looks innocent i mean from afar he looks innocent like if you don't, haven't spoken to him if you have no knowledge about what he does or you know anything like that you know with the fact that for the fact that he's always posting you know passages and bible verses and all of that like you think he is such a Christian or something, but guy killed a woman, a, a woman that had three kids, and he was aware when they were asking him, when the police was asking him, like, do you know she had three kids? Like, yes, yes, I know, I know, um, I know, you know, and who knows? Like, I mean, like I said, this is his story. Like, who knows what he did with her? Who knows whether he had intercourse with her before, even before you know killing her or after like who knows what he did like i mean because the truth is the investigation process in nigeria is not as thorough as it is in the us or the uk and that's the truth you know so only god knows what else he might have done that you know wasn't found out but like i i really feel bad may, may the woman's soul rest in peace i hope um her family finds peace and um it's it's just a shame guys that's it like you know he just killed her off and took her card and um they said he's been wanted for a while i don't know why he was wanted whether he was wanted for murder or he's wanted he was wanted for fraud but he was wanted so he, they, apparently they've been looking for him for over two years so even at the time he was coming to see me in school guys he was on the wanted list he was being searched for guys i was speaking to somebody who was on the run that's like crazy that is wild you know but like i said i thank god for his mercies i thank god for his goodness i thank god i'm here i'm fine i thank god you know that i was able to listen to my intuition i was able to listen to my inner mind and you know when i said no i stood by it and um yeah here i am today just in you guys telling you guys this story so guys, I hope you've learned a thing or two. I mean, I'm sure you enjoyed the gist, but I also hope you learned something from it. Listen to your intuition. If you have to double think it, then don't go for it. No, do not. Don't, don't, don't do it. No matter what, no matter the temptations, even if you don't have anything and this person that, that seems to really love you has everything. Once you have to think twice about it, once you're not sure, once there's some unsettling feeling in your gut about the person, don't go ahead with it. There's something better for you, even if it doesn't come immediately, it's eventually going to come. So don't go for that person. Listen to your intuition because you don't know. You don't know for real. You don't know that person's secrets. Yeah, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you know that you enjoyed this content, if you know that you enjoyed my story, if you know that you learned a thing or two from this story, please, please and please hit the like button. Also, I'd like you guys to comment down below. Have you ever spoken to somebody that ended up being a killer or, you know, ended up being a, you know, apparently I just remembered, I think um, YouTube censors a whole lot of words. So yeah. If you have, like if you've had any conversations, if you've been close to someone like that, comment down below, let me know. Have you had a run in with, you know, a killer? Or have you almost dated a killer? Or have you been in a relationship with somebody who turned out to be a killer? 
just let me know let me know let me know in the comment down below and what would you have done if it was you guys like that is wild if you enjoyed this content or learned a thing or two from my story please do not hesitate to like comment and subscribe also if you have any video ideas just let me know in the comment section down below or hit me up on my instagram um at ivan underscore uka or just check my description box for details on how to reach me and reach me on any of the avenues stated there and um if your idea is visible if it's doable i'll get right to it okay guys thanks for watching thanks for sticking with me and have a beautiful beautiful day or night bye my favorite